Well, good morning and welcome to this Monday morning episode of Boost. We had a great weekend in church yesterday. It was just absolutely wonderful. But it's great that we can do scripture reading like this each day of the week. Well, I've got my, my little dog with me today. Oftentimes when I'm reading the, the scriptures, he's around my feet, walking around. So here he is, um, gives you all a morning wave. And now I'm going to put him back on the floor. Off he goes. We love our pets. I love mine. Um, but I love the Word of God more. What do you reckon? So today we are in our third day of reading from the book of Mark. And I'm going to be reading from Mark chapter 1. We're still in chapter 1. Actually, the first chapter of Mark is actually quite long. And uh, so I'm going to read from verse 40 in of chapter 1 through to verse uh, 12 in chapter 2. This is just a great reading. So get ready, everybody. I love this passage of Scripture. It says, A man with leprosy came and knelt in front of Jesus, begging to be healed. If you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean, he said. Moved with compassion, Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said. Be healed. Instantly, the leprosy disappeared and the man was healed. Then Jesus sent him on his way with a stern warning. Don't tell anyone about this. Instead, go to the priest and let them examine you. Take along the offering required in the law of Moses for those who have been healed of leprosy. This will be a public testimony that you have been cleansed. But the man went and spread the word, proclaiming to everyone what had happened. And as a result, large crowds soon surrounded Jesus and he couldn't public, publicly enter a town anywhere. He had to stay out in the secluded places, but people came from everywhere to, to see him. When Jesus returned to Capernaum several days later, the news spread quickly that he was back home. Soon the house uh, where he was staying was so packed with visitors that there was no more room even outside the door. While he was preaching God's word to them, four men arrived carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. They couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, so they dug a hole through the roof above his head. Then they lowered the man on his mat right in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralyzed man, My child, your sins are forgiven. But some of the teachers of religious law who were sitting there thought to themselves, what is he saying? This is blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. Jesus immediately knew what they were thinking. So he asked them, why do you question this in your hearts? Is it easy to say that to the paralyzed man, your sins are forgiven? Or stand up, pick up your mat and walk. So I will prove to you that the Son of Man has the authority on earth to forgive sins. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, stand up. Pick up your mat and go home. And the man jumped up, grabbed his mat and walked out through the stunned onlookers. They were all amazed and praised God, exclaiming, we've never seen anything like this before. Isn't that great passage that we've read today? What a boost that is to us. Just something I want to focus on. It's just right at the beginning when Jesus healed the man with leprosy. You know, that, that man with leprosy took a bit of a risk. Uh, just coming in front of Jesus and begging to be healed because, you know, he was meant to be uh, quarantined. He was meant to be uh, keep away from everybody. But he said this to Jesus, if you're willing, you can make heal me and make me clean. And, you know, the response of Jesus is, is just so powerful. And that's what I want to focus on. It says that he, Jesus was moved with compassion. Jesus reached out and touched him. This guy had leprosy, contagious leprosy. But Jesus said, I am willing. I am willing be healed. And you know, that's in the Bible for us. Sometimes we doubt the will of God concerning our own lives. You know, we doubt whether he wants to answer our prayer. We doubt whether he wants to, to would carry our burdens and help us. But you know, this is in the Bible. He said, Jesus said to this leper, I am willing. And Jesus says to you today, as you seek the face of God, he's saying to you, I am willing as well. Don't doubt the willingness of God for you today. He loves you. He cares for you. He came to rescue you. Jesus is willing. Well, that's the end of Boost today. Let me pray God's blessing upon your day. Father, I just thank you for all of the listeners this Monday morning. Lord, we're going to have a great week. We're going to have a wonderful week. But Lord, as we go about our day, may we be mindful, Lord, that you do love us, that you do care for us, and that, Lord, you 
are willing. So Lord, we thank you for your presence with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, everybody. God bless you. Have a terrific day. Bye.